I'm really uh, glad to be sharing uh, everything. So uh, my topic is uh, business transformation with uh, digital transformation, IIoT, and uh, data analytics. So I work for a chemical manufacturer, uh, Kaneka North America. So uh, I, I have a background of uh, instrumentation, automation, PLC, DCS, real-time, ERP, and uh, multiple things. So you'll see me use a lot of buzzwords. Uh, so I want to actually talk about more about the cultural transformation part, which is the key piece of any uh, digital transformation. So the topic is I want to introduce my uh, company I work for and then uh, dive into the topic. So I like the slide uh, where it shows all about the chaos, uh, cosmic chaos, I call it. So let's move on. Uh, so uh, it's a quote of the day. Uh, it's something which, if you ask me as a kid, that's the one thing I've used from high school. So nothing is impossible in this world. So even the word uh, impossible says, I am possible. So it's all about possibilities, right? So digital transformation is also about possibilities and uh, the vision, the dream, how to, how to uh, implement things. So Kaneka uh, Corporation uh, is a Japanese company from Osaka. We're a $5 billion company. Uh, we're into uh, multiple uh, business backgrounds from resin to uh, pharma to you name it, polymers, uh, uh, multiple things, a broad range, uh, like foodstuffs uh, and medical devices. And uh, we have uh, around 3,300 employees or you know, 8,400. Worldwide, we are located in, in, uh, in Japan, uh, in the US, Belgium, Germany, Singapore, Malaysia, Australia. And we are so diverse, like uh, we, we do uh, like, you know, dietary supplements on one end, we also do polymers on the other, so it's, it's a huge uh, spectrum. So what is digital transformation? So in general terms, we can define uh, digital transformation as uh, integration of technology uh, into all areas, and then resulting in uh, fundamental changes on how to do business you know, operate, and how to deliver value to the customers. It's all about value. So beyond, beyond this, it's a huge uh, culture change. Like, uh, you know, the previous speaker is talking about how to, it's a disruptive uh, technology, right? When people are doing certain things in a certain way. We're going and telling them, don't do it that way. We'll give you uh, better tools. So that is what it's all about. Uh, it also means sometimes walking away from a long-standing business processes that companies are built on. So upon in a favor of relatively new practices that's still being defined, which is the field uh, we, you're all in today to listen to. So uh, digital transformation, usually uh, elements often cited, customer experience, uh, operational uh, agility, culture and leadership, uh, workforce enablement, that's one of the biggest pieces, then the digital uh, technology integration. So I, I just want to uh, think, uh, you know, bring to the audience of uh, strategy, that is one of the key things. So, you know, why are you talking about strategy is important to even before we uh, start the journey. So I think we have to think big, no doubt about it. Think big, implement small, and then scale fast. So that is the way to uh, do it. So uh, it, you don't have to stick to one technology. You actually uh, you can uh, look into a lot of different things. And one of the uh, important things is the outcomes. So that's the key, right? Go as a reverse engineer. So what are the outcomes that will drive value? Uh, what are the actions, uh, what are the insights, and what are the tools you can provide to the end user to provide that value. It's about, all about value proposition. And then the other way is, uh, you, know, you probably hear about three stages of uh, digital maturity. I just uh, put a key in there, I'm calling it four stages. So one is, you, you, maybe uh, all your organizations might be in one of the stages. Uh, I think in Kaneka we are in the discover and inform stage, but we have a dream to go big. The key things is to identify your infrastructure. So uh, your control automation, then the analytics. What do you want to do, right? There are simple dashboards or things like that. The people. So you have a lot of tribal knowledge, right? People uh, leave companies, the knowledge goes away with them. So how do you capture that knowledge? And then the business models are usually siloed. How to break that barrier? And at every uh, stage, you have to evaluate the assets, uh, people, technology, and you know, business processes. And then think in terms of data, uh, resources, the quality of the data. So I'm, I'm going to coin terms like IT, OT, ET data. So, and then uh, structured and unstructured data, people knowledge capture, and then data retention strategy. That's one of the important things. The second one is like partnership is key. So uh, if, if you're in the business of manufacturing chemicals, that's what we're good at. So uh, go, go and have partnership with companies who can actually uh, support you, like KCF on you know, machine health, and they take care from you know, end to end. So that is a huge scalability when it comes to uh, speed of implementation. So the key is to think enterprise, uh, have a software as a solution strategy, and so on. 
and then uh, think about connected, uh, uh, you know, what I call mesh topology or technologies. So. And then uh, once you uh, mature, you end up into becoming a connected uh, infrastructure. Uh, then, you know, distributed intelligence. Then uh, uh, acquiring people skills is, and training is one of the huge things. Business models will move to being collaborative. People start using the data and being collaborative. Transformed is probably you know, the higher level where it says, hey, it's all smart and connected. Uh, we have distributed intelligence. Uh, people have the data in their tips. So they're able to use the data and provide value. So blended IT, OT skills, and training to all, all levels is important. And then business models is uh, customer first. So if you see, uh, describe the change you would like to see. That's the important, you, uh, the, the dream, what you want to do is important. So I think it's important to have, uh, you know, digital transformation is all about driving actions. That's what your CEO wants, right? What is the ROI of my solution? That is the toughest part. So you have to define that soft ROIs and hard ROIs and define that and then have a strategy. And also plan your company's digital transformation strategy and how it will create value for you, for the business, for the people. So define the outcomes, specify the actions. And uh, if data and insights are, you know, to create any value, then they must influence people and systems' behaviors, right? So that's why uh, the cultural transformation part is a the key. Then having a clarity and alignment around the change with management team and all digital transformation stakeholders, who is going to use it? So think about workflows and all that, and that's how you build it up. So I have the same, my favorite slide, you know, the outcomes, that's how you uh, plan the whole thing. So uh, this is just the... Uh, the digital transformation formula, I'm, I'm sure I know you guys know it already. <laughs> I'm just going to joke about it. So one of the key things we notice, we all talk about IT, OT. ET is the engineering uh, technology, your specifications, data sheets, things like that. So the combining that with people transformation, which is the big key, that's, uh, if that's uh, you know, to drive your business transformation. So this is more uh, a big picture. Uh, it's the ISA 95 model. Uh, I'm an automation guy, so I you know, tend to uh, you know, push that into the slide. So, but the key is when you implement, think about a strategy of uh, going ISD 95. So level one is plant flow level sensors and so connectivity and so on. Then you get into the SCADA, external data. MDM is ma master data management. You know, data quality management is the key. So if you have a bunch of data but the quality is not good, it'll mess up your prediction models. And then we use OSI Pi to collect the real-time data and then pass it on. That's a level three. So I just call it OT and IT. But eventually, what do we do? All this belongs to the guy right up there. So it's about reactive to proactive change, right? That's what we're trying to drive the outcome. The culture change is a huge one. The other, other one is uh, be prepared to have metrics and rewards. So what exactly you're implementing, how you're getting value out of it, uh, those type of things. And then importantly, people, not just technology. That's a very uh, key, key aspect. The metadata uh, will be of no value if uh, you don't know how to influence that person or how they will use it. Just taking it a big picture, even bigger picture. So if you see, I have a huge slide. Uh, are we there uh, in every piece? No. So just to dream big. And then uh, KCF has supported us where the sensors were put in. We had a 4G connection. So the infrastructure issue was not there. We scaled it quickly. So we implemented as a, a proof of value. So I like to call it not proof of concept, but proof of value. And then drive that value to all the stakeholders. So we were able to scale quickly in 15 days and show value. So we had a recent shutdown where we were able to uh, take actions. Uh, so there's a huge change, right? Usually people go be reactive, something breaks, everybody is like, you know, take a fire hose and you know, just try to fix it. But now we're saying like, hold on, then I'm, I'm able to plan better. Uh, do I have the spare parts? So they're able to see it in that angle. Also, I, I always think like when we go uh, to a doctor, right, for a health checkup, you do that. But when it comes to your machines, you say, oh, it's a machine. But it's the same philosophy. That you just have to check the health of your machine, keep it. Uh, check the pulse, and then all the indicators with the uh, you know, smart diagnostics uh, the portal is offering. It also offers uh, things like uh, capture knowledge, which is one of the key things. You're able to put those type of data. But the, even the next level is to take the data into your Pi system, then compare your process data with uh, the machine health. Now that's, and then you can bring process data back. So now you can start analyzing the batch process, be able to analyze how did one batch uh, perform versus the other batch. How can I get that opportunity profit, you know, uh, you know, avoid those losses? The huge thing for us was the culture change. I can see the transformation happening. I should talk in the meetings a lot, then I would pull back. Now I have my maintenance team owning it. So that is the, uh, the real thing. So if you look at this, we have ERP systems. Uh, we have SAP uh, ERP. We do uh, SAP Analytics Cloud. So usually organizations will be uh, very large on the ERP side, analytics and so on. 
But the real power is uh, what I call the bread and butter of any company is the product you make. So if you're able to influence that strategies to make more product efficiently, increase your you know, like an OEE and your machine running time, automatically that will transform your people and everything. And also start thinking about uh, you know, lab data. Uh, and then you have the DCS data into Pi. Then we, we, we have like Pi uh, where we can do basic uh, visualization and so on. And then the next step would be to take the data, do data analysis, try to build models. That's a long way. But uh, each industry will have their own niche. So select your uh, solution uh, wisely. That way you know, you're not uh, scaling it uh, too fast. But you plan it uh, just to show the big picture. Also connect about, think about connected processes. Think about connected assets. Think about the connected worker. The safety of the worker is super important. So think about wearable technologies, but you can scale in a different, uh, different way. Just a, a big picture idea how we can scale it. Uh, and then there are a lot of manual data. Everybody loves Excel, but Excel is a digital paper, right? It ends up in somebody's uh, uh, you know, computer. So how, how to make that a SQL database and share the knowledge? It's all about connectivity, right? So that's all it is. So this is just to give a big picture. I mean, are we, uh, you know, a digital twin is like, okay, digital twin does not have to be something like that submarine. It can be a physical asset, the data from the physical asset. If you're able to get that in a digitized form, right? That is your digital twin right there. So uh, I would say, uh, please select your, uh, what you want and how, uh, what technology will provide you good value. And then it can be direct or indirect ROIs. So this is just to show, uh, just to the vision overview of unlimited possibilities. So it can be uh, CAD drawing specifications, right? It can be data analytics, data integration, uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, we are not yet there, but eventually we will get there. And uh, you know, virtual reality, augmented reality. There's a lot, a lot of pieces to it. Cloud computing, but it's all buzzwords. So how to make it reality is to select the piece what you want the most. And just to break it down even further, what does CAD drawings mean? Just imagine you have a QR code on an equipment, and your uh, uh, technician goes there. He doesn't have to scramble for the documents. He can just basically scan it, and then boom, you know, he has the data. That, and plus, you have the machine hand solution. So it's it's how you project the data information in front of uh, fingertips of your uh, technicians or engineers, that's the key. So there's a wide variety of, you can go uh, all the way from, you know, like machine health, right? I mean, that's what KCF is helping us with. So I don't have to create the machine health, they, they gave me a solution on the platform, and come on, I mean, I have to just grab it and then run with it, that's what I did. And uh, they're supporting us uh, very nice, not just the solution, they have the uh, century report, so we have meetings every, uh, every week where you have engagement from KCF uh, uh, and uh, the maintenance and operations teams. We talk about like, hey, what happened to this equipment? Uh, is there a process change, or is there an equipment change? So there's a lot of value, and that's brought in together, and then we try to vet out the solution even better. So the knowledge, uh, it's all about discussion, connectivity. And uh, so this, uh, this is my favorite slide, okay? So if you think about it, okay, why do people want to change? So uh, we're too busy, hey, no thanks, I don't wanna try something new you're offering me, and uh, okay, I'm happy with that square wheel, I'm doing very efficiently. And probably be on the sidelines trying to say, hey, this is a better way of doing things. But wait a second, why should he listen to you? So it's the simple, right? So think how to create value for the end user. People are ready to change and adapt when they see value. That's all it's all about. And then uh, empower your people, uh, encourage their heart, right? We, that's the buzzword used. Uh, it's true, though. Uh, with good solutions and tools,